So in this section, we'd like to take a look at controlling plugins, Dynamics EQs, even inserts uh, and, and sends uh, both on the channel strip as well as in what we call an expand zone. We looked at doing some control on the center section on the master module. I'd like to show you a couple different ways to represent, for example, controls of a compressor on the desk and even some really efficient um, um, zones that you can set up that when you attention a track, you can automatically have things fly into that zone uh, for a very predictable and efficient uh, means of control. So we're going to go back to the desk and go back to our left spill zone. Once again, bring up VCAs. <clears throat> and this is a great way to start. Um, within our template, we have all, our, all of our food groups. So I've got drums, bass, keys. It's a great place to start because I've, I have the whole structure of all the elements within my template. So if I want guitars, you know, simply, once again, auto spill using the attention key. And that brought all my guitar elements over to the right side. Now, you can see the electric guitar on chorus here is already kind of living in a green or dynamics mode. If we go to the guitar loop here and just press Dyne, um, we're able to look at that in a couple different ways. And currently that track is in an expand mode. So let's just back out so we can see that again. That track on guitar loop, I have control of threshold, ratio, attack, and release <clears throat> for the Pro C2 Fab Filter compressor. We can solo that up. I can listen to that. I can kind of see what that's doing, adjust the ratio. Um, so now if I want more information about that particular dynamics processor on that track, I can press expand. And what expand is going to do is it's going to basically borrow <clears throat> the entire knob module, as you can see on the display module and on, on the knob module that's gone all green, to show me uh, more parameters. So instead of just threshold ratio attack release, I've got input, output, I've got the knee, the uh, makeup gain, as well as filters that are justified on the right. And the really powerful thing about this is that, again, whether I'm using a FabFilter plugin or an Avid Pro compressor or Waves or uh, whoever else's AAX plugin, it's going to format in exactly the same way, <clears throat> which allows me as an operator to be more efficient. If I press expand, I'm back into this channel-based view. Okay, so that gives me a lot of control. I can even see game reduction right next to my meter in green, as well as game reduction right next to the scrolling uh, real-time waveform uh, on that particular track. So there's a ton of information to tell you what's happening on that particular track, OK? So <clears throat> let's go and actually bring our bass track. I'm going to go just press um, auto spill in the bass. And there's the bass VCA just contains a single bass track. Now, it's very common that you may want to add an additional uh, member to a group, whether it's bass, whether it's keyboards, whether it's drums. And instead of having to create a new track and instantiate plugins on that track, it's very simple just to duplicate an existing track, uh, everything on the track except the media within that group. And the benefit is that that bass track is part of the bass group and it's attached to the base VCA. So it's part of the group, it's bound to the VCA. If I, if I want to just add another base, maybe I'm going to blend an amp and a DI. It's a very, very uh, simple and useful function to just duplicate that track. So we previously looked at the idea of the quick jump functions. If we press Shift 7, you can see that I have now brought up all of the soft keys to look at editing. So track management and, and cut, copy, paste, and playlists and things like that. I can literally just come in here and say uh, duplicate, so select the bass track and say duplicate. Give me another one of these. <clears throat> and you can see there are flashing LEDs down here saying OK cancel, which is kind of telling you, do you want to dismiss the dialog or do you want to hit OK? I'm going to hit OK. And now, basically, Pro Tools, it duplicated that track. You can see, see base dupe one. And all the processing that was on that is now been replicated on the second track. So this is a great way, again, to blend multiple elements together. And it added to the group. And it's now part of that VCA as well. So um, it's, it's very, very cool. So I've got the, uh, the Dynamics view currently displayed for the <clears throat> primary bass track. And you can see it's a Brainworks uh, BX Console E. I've got control of that as such here. I can go into an expand mode as we saw previously, uh, which, is, which is very efficient. But what I want to do now is talk about the idea of creating an on-attention zone. And, the, and this is, if we go back to our settings, back to Surface, 
Um, we previously looked at spill zones, and the idea of the spill zone is being able to, to put layouts and VCAs within different sections on the desk. The concept of the unattention, in this case knob module, is to have this predictable control that we looked at for dynamics, but to have it automatically show up any place on the desk when I attention a track, and that's what we're going to build. So we, we go back to the surface page. We can see our configuration again. You can see the spill zones we created previously. We're going to this time touch config and then touch expand and specify a knob. So it just lit up all of our available knob modules on the desk and said, hey, where do you want to put this on attention zone? I'm going to choose to touch the one on the right side. That's going to go dark. And you're actually going to see in the surface page a one indicating this is the first and only and primary on attention knob zone. OK? So we'll hit done. So it's created that. <clears throat> now, we're going to quick jump back to the main page. If you, and to do that, again, is shift zero. And what we're concerned about really is getting back to the primary uh, soft keys on the automation module. And that's what we call the extras page. So if you're on any other page, whether it's workflow or recording, whatever it is, if we just get back to the extras page, on that page, we have um, the ability to turn on and off that dedicated zone. So I'm going to explain this in just a second. OK, so let's go back to our base tracks that we had previously. Um, and to do that, we're just going to, again, we'll auto spill our base. You can see, hey, there's our, our primary and our duplicated base that we talked about previously. That's great. We've got those. Those are living in, in a zone. And um, if we, again, we go in here and expand the, the base, we're controlling the dynamic parameters of this channel strip, which is BX console E. While I'm in an expanded view, if I press EQ, it's using the same plugin because it's a channel strip, but now, hey, I'm actually tweaking the, the high pass filter uh, and the, you know, the low gain on that, so the EQ components of that BX console plugin, but in the same predictable way of my dedicated EQ uh, layout, right? So filters are on the left and then gain frequency Q, um, very, very intuitive and simple interface, okay? So now let's engage our on attention zone. And we do that by looking at the, the bottom soft keys here in the extras section. There's enable expand fader and enable expand knob. We're going to make the expand uh, knob active. And we're also going to specify what happens, what gets populated in that zone. So to do that, uh, we looked at the exploded page previously, and the exploded page, once again, the home page shows everything about the attention track, which you can see currently is base, okay? So what we want to do is we want to set a behavior for what happens when I attention a track with regard to that zone. So let's go look. Uh, I'm gonna, to do this, I'm going to go press the uh, little gear button there, and we're going to look at the first expand knob function, okay? So right now, it is set to EQ. Let's just set it to dynamics for now. Okay, so the first expand knob we're going to set to dynamics. And then if there's no dynamics, then you know what? Let's go to EQ. And that'll give us, a, I think, a pretty cool workflow. So now if we um, basically just attention a track, and I'm going to show you this in a couple different ways, we're going to take guitars and we're going to spill it into its own zone. Okay, so what I just did was, uh, let's just back up, show you that one more time. Hold down the menu button. And instead of doing an auto spill, I'm actually pressing zone left while holding down menu. The guitars are now living in the left zone, okay? The bass tracks, as we saw previously, are sitting in the right zone, okay? So if I press attention on the duplicate bass track, it now just attentioned the bass dupe, the duplicate, and check this out, it actually brought up the dynamic processor for that track, which is also a BX, because we, we, we duplicated the processing within that zone. So this is an on attention zone. So check this out. If I suspend this, it's back to you know, looking at pan or sends or whatever was previously viewed on that track. Let's re-enable it. It jumps back into being a on attention zone. Now, there's also a way to, sub uh, to substitute that out. So let's just go and attention the base dupe and say, you know what, I don't really want dynamics on that. I'd like to have EQ now. I can literally just go uh, into the, un, under the master module, and I can touch a different type and then touch in. And you're substituting out 
uh, for the attention track. So for example, let's say I want re remote control mic preamp parameters. I'm going to drop those in. Uh, and now it's red to indicate, hey, it's a remote mic preamp. I'm going to go uh, and uh, maybe grab some um, panning, right? And I can swap in pan, which goes blue, right? Back to dynamics, and you're in green, okay? So it's very simple to swap out what is in the attention zone real estate. We'll turn that back off, and then we can look at, <clears throat> once again, we're back to kind of a traditional uh, vertical layout for those particular tracks. So the on attention zone allows you to declare a knob module up to two modules on your desk to have totally predictable control of the attention track. Uh, typical would be dynamics and EQ. You can put them wherever you want uh, from an ergonomic point of view. And then when you attention, you have a very predictable way to control that plugin, whether it's an Avid or a third party AAX plugin.